tension of school has made me think a little bit more. You know, the tension of finishing up and getting out of school and seeing my friends worried about finding jobs and myself worried about finding a job and what's going to happen next year. My biggest fear is that I won't be successful. That's my biggest fear above anything. I can't even define what that means right now. In the weeks before graduation, Justin's been creating a plan for his transition to the world of work. An earlier summer job has already given him at least a sense of what to expect. I was worried when I was working. I saw how people were treated and how much people were taken advantage of. Talented people, just because business didn't have a place for them, not because they weren't talented. Young people that like to work hard are perfect gophers for everybody else. You know, they can push them around really easily. And you can easily kind of get stagnant in some place and just never move anywhere. And I saw it happen. And that would be the worst thing that could happen to me. The worst. Hey, Cash. I find with my friends, even the art students that are painting, have this success, this future success story that they've got this picture painted for themselves of their own little life. And to get there, they're going to have to sell themselves out to a certain degree, even as painters. So have you sold any paintings lately? Are you kidding? You're going to sell me one? I'll be glad to sell you one. Yeah. Which one do you want? On student budget, remember. On student budget. Now, you're going to be working dog soon. Yeah. But when I speak of, like, my little philosophy that life is a business, for me, it's more of an awareness of the way you're going to have to live your life today with a business society, a business-minded society in every aspect. I think about girlfriends a lot. It's something that's important to me because I, I want to know that somebody cares. Sometimes I come home from a great day and I go home to my apartment. I live alone and um, there's nobody there. And I've got all these terrific things I got to say, but there's nobody around. One of my friends said something to me. It was really kind of nice. He said that uh, all he wants right now is somebody that will he can put his head down on her lap and she'll just kind of stroke his head and be there for him and just talk with him and just somebody to, to feel close to. At 21, Justin's professional plans seem firmer than his vision for his personal life. I don't want a housewife as a wife. That wouldn't be enough for me. I want a woman that would fight with me and tell me when I'm wrong and, and give me trouble once in a while. The kind of work I want to do, I don't know if I'll be ready to have a family at 30. I think a family will really tie me down in many respects. It'll make, um, it'll make working difficult or moving the way I want to in work difficult. My family's been there for me always, and I hope someday to be there for mine. I just don't know... I don't know how all that's going to work out. I, that's one thing I really can't predict. I can't even try.